So I've just been on a lovely run around where I live. We've done about five kilometers and we've run all the way down the coast, the west coast of Sweden, not literally the entire west coast, but just five kilometers from where I live up, up towards the north. And it's so pretty. We climbed so much elevation today. My legs are aching. And then all of a sudden it goes from being completely still with no wind, no rain, nothing to rain. And it's tipping it down. And just running through the forest, look, found a little camping thing that somebody's built. A little den, I guess you call it. In fact, when we were kids, we called it a den. Actually, you know what? The other thing around where I live, it's incredible, are these. These are giant snails. Look at them. There's loads of them. And believe it or not, you can actually eat these, cook them up, fry them in garlic. And apparently they're amazing. God, there's loads of them. Absolutely loads. Look at this one here. Now, some of you out there are probably cringing at this point going, Ugh! but they're incredible because they're so big. I mean, literally, this is a small one and actually they are out every single year. Loads of them. Look at them all up here. And every single year they pop up in this forest. And I don't think anybody actually eats them, <laughs> but it's really tempting. And if you've not tried snails, or as they call them in France, escargot, they are so tasty. If you forget the fact that you're eating a snail and just remember that it's just a bit of meat, ultimately, they are so tasty. In fact, we went skiing once, I think it was in Austria, and I ordered escargot for starter. And the waitress, who was obviously quite new and young, walked up towards me with my escargot and tripped up and dropped the whole tray of escargot on my lap. Boiling hot garlic. Ah, oh. yeah, but they, they brought another one and it was amazing. But anyway, also just another little interesting fact, talking about camping. In Sweden, there is a law. I can't remember what it's, what the name of the Swedish term is. Al Alamans, Alamans, something like that. Where anybody can camp anywhere. So like literally, if I wanted to set up tent, I can camp here if I wanted to. I think there's a limit on how long you can camp for. Let's make a move. I think it's like maybe 24 hours and no longer than that. But isn't that nice that, you know, you can literally go out and camp wherever you want, if you want to. Activity resumed. Oh, that was my uh, Runtastic app that tracks my running. But I will say, Swedish girls are, do not like camping. <laughs> Most of them anyway, I would say, from my experience. I'm not gonna be doing broad sweeping generalizations, but from speaking to Swedish girls, including the three that I was just running with tonight, they don't like camping, only like glamping, or as one of them said, only five-star hotels, <laughs> which made me laugh. Hey, hey. <laughs> so anyway, it's absolutely chucking down with rain now. The skies have opened and I'm just wearing running gear. So I'm getting soaked here. Hope you appreciate this random out and about video. It's so pretty here. Look at this. And everywhere's green and lovely now. Have a good evening, folks.